Breast cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in Australian women. This is why they are encouraged to adhere to the triple test recommendation of clinical breast examination, which is done annually at 40 years old. Second, imaging. And third, biopsy for women with breast symptoms. Risk factors of breast cancer include increasing age, that's more than 40 years old, living in Western population, pre-existing benign breast lumps, alcohol intake of more than two standard drinks per day, use of menopause hormonal therapy, particularly combined estrogen and progesterone of more than five years of duration, nulliparity, late menopause after 53 years old, obesity, and early menarche basically those that increase the exposure to estrogen. And of course, other risk factors include personal history of breast cancer, family history and a first-degree relative, known genetic mutations like BRCA1 and BRCA2, ionizing radiation exposure, and those of Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry. The greatest risk factor for breast cancer is age with most cases occurring over the age of 50. Women, even with no family history, are considered to have average risk. Also, those who have one first-degree relative with a diagnosed breast cancer at the age of more than 50 years old, those with one second-degree relative diagnosed to have breast cancer at any age, two second-degree relatives on same side but diagnosed more than 50 years old, and two first- or second-degree relatives on different sides. It is recommended that they undergo mammogram every two years from 50 years old up until they reach 74 years old. This is also recommended among patients who are under the moderate risk category, and these include women who have one first-degree relative diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of less than 50 years old, women who have two first-degree relatives on the same side, or relatives who have two second-degree relatives on the same side but diagnosed at less than 50 years of age. Take note, however, that once you already have a relative who's less than 50 years old, it is recommended that we do an annual mammogram as early as 40 years old. If in the question it's mentioned that a woman has two relatives who's 56 and 60 years old, then you will have to do mammogram when the patient is 50 years old. But in the event that any of the two relatives will be aged less than 50, then you can go ahead and screen the patient as early as 40, and this should be done more frequently, that is, every year instead of every two years. Again, it only makes sense that we do it earlier and more frequently as the risk of the patient increases. Lastly, the high-risk category includes those women who have high risk of ovarian cancer, those who have two first- or second-degree relatives diagnosed of breast cancer or ovarian cancer, plus any of the following. The relative who has breast cancer has been diagnosed less than 40 years old, relatives who have bilateral breast cancer, breast cancer and ovarian cancer in the same woman, Ashkenazi and Jewish ancestry, breast cancer in a male relative, or if the woman has one first degree or second degree relative diagnosed at less than 45 years old, plus a relative who's been diagnosed with sarcoma at less than 45 years old. The recommendation for these patients is to refer them to cancer specialist or family cancer clinic for risk assessment, where they are then further instructed for genetic testing and management plan. So again, for average risk, the cutoff age is more than 50 years old. Mammogram should be done every two years from 50. For moderate risk, cutoff is less than 50 years old. And mammogram should be done annually at 40 years old and for high risk the cutoff age is less than 40 years old you would have to repetitively go back to this table again and again in order to master and not only familiarize with the criteria or better yet you can make another quick note and stick it on your wall again for average 
mammography at 50, moderate mammography at 50 or 40. If high risk, then we would have to refer for risk stratification. The age cutoffs are more than 50, less than 50, and 40 respectively. Please don't confuse this with the values we learned for colorectal cancer. Here, the magic numbers are more than 55 years old, less than 55 and less than 50, FOBT should be done at 50, 40, and 35, while colonoscopy is only done for moderate and high risk at 50 and 45 years old. In breast cancer, the magic numbers are simply 50 and 40. Here is a sample question. A 35-year-old woman presents to your clinic for breast cancer screening. She's worried as her sister, who's 49 years old, has just been diagnosed with the condition. No other known relative has the disease. Physical examination is unremarkable. What is the most appropriate screening that should be performed for the patient? A. Mammography now. B. Mammography at 50 years old. C. Ultrasound of the breasts now. D. Mammography at 40 years old. Or E. Reassure the patient. Her first degree relative is 49 years old, which makes her fall under the category of moderate risk. But remember that if that relative is less than 50 years old, then we would have to do mammogram earlier and more frequently. Hence, it should be done annually and at 40 years old. A and B are incorrect. Letter C is also incorrect. Letter D is the correct answer. And letter E might be considered, but letter D is a much more correct answer. Another question. A 50-year-old Jewish woman is convinced by her sister to undergo breast screening. She has a maternal aunt who has been diagnosed with ovarian cancer and another who has bilateral breast cancer. Breast examination is normal and so is the rest of the physical examination. What should be done for this patient? A. Mammography now. B. Mammography now then annually. C. Do BRCA gene testing. D. Ultrasound of the breasts. Or E. Refer for genetic screening. This patient satisfies the criteria for high-risk category. Letter A and B are incorrect. Letter C could be the answer, but this depends first on the genetic screening that should be done initially. Letter D is incorrect, and so E, refer for genetic screening, is the correct answer. I hope this video reinforced your knowledge of breast cancer surveillance. If you have good mnemonics or study tips on how to review these and other topics, please feel free to share. Our next clinical pearl is going to be about the most commonly diagnosed cancer in Australia. Oh.